Well, hello. Come and join me for another Watch Me Wednesday and let me know if you can hear me. Okay. So I wait for a couple of people to join on because I've just, this is my second attempt today and it's not working. It's not working. So when someone's on, can you tell me? Can you hear me? Or not? <laughs> You can probably hear me in stereo now. If you can't, yay! Yay! I have no idea. But is it echoey though? Because I think you can probably hear me in stereo and I'm scared to turn one off. So am I a bit echoey like I'm coming from two devices because they're both on at the moment? Well, I tell you what, I'm going to turn one off and see if we can hear. Right, I'm going to... I mute that. Can you hear me? Can you hear me or not? <laughs> not too bad. <laughs> so you can still hear me now? Can you hear me now? There's a song there, isn't there? Can you hear me now? Okay, so we're in. You can hear me. I'm not in stereo. All good. Come on. Yay. Right. Okay. We're there. What I say? I tell you what. Too many devices, too many microphones, too many input output stuff. I'm not a te I'm not technical or well, not that technical. Um, but yes, we are there. We are there. Thank goodness for that. Right. Welcome. Welcome. Hello. And um, here we are. Another Watch Me Wednesday. We're already 10 minutes later than we should be now. But at least we're here. You can hear me. All is good for the world. Yay. <laughs> right. OK, so what are we here for? It's the 1st of September. It looks like the 1st of September out there. I don't know what the weather is like with you. Um, I'm hoping it's better than here. We are grey, cloudy and overcast, which is how we've been now for weeks. Um, August just hasn't existed. I'm kind of hoping that September means that we're going to um, have some nice sunshine. But uh, we will see. We will see. But right. Hello. Hello. Welcome. If you are new to me, let's kind of I should introduce myself after all of that. And um, so my name is Natalie O'Shea. I am the proud owner of the Card Making Academy. Um, you can find out all about me um, on the cardmakingacademy.co.uk. I am obviously in the UK, but I know that people can be watching from all over the world. Um, so you are very welcome. Um, if you want to find out more about me, go and have a look on there. Um, I'm not going to sit and um, <laughs> you can you can find out who is she who is she um on there and um, but i do um i'm also a stamping up demonstrator which means all the products that i use all the craft products that i use from the paper to the glue to the everything um is all from a quality company called stamping up um, and you can buy them from me if you want to but that's not what this is all about this is all about sharing and showing you how to use things so whilst you might fall in love with my turtles today and um, if you do and you must have them like i had to then there is a link in the description that you'll find there um, where you can go onto my site and purchase them. That is for those of you who are in the UK, Austria, France, Germany, or the Netherlands. Um, if you are in North America um, or Canada, then you can go to www.stampingup.com um, and you can find somebody local to you. Stamping Up um, has to be bought through a rep, representative demonstrator as we're called. Um, so you have to go through somebody. Um, I can't sell to those places, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, you'll find somebody there. And if you are in Australia and New Zealand, you will also be able to find a rep. Those of you that are not in those countries, then um, just join along anyway. Use This is all about... Um, just sharing how to make something really so you can use any images stamps that you've got you can use any pattern paper you've got you can use any card that you've got um, and you can still follow along with us if you want to um right so um but those of you who do if you want to shop for any of those things you'll see the link in in my description natalieoshea.stampingup.net is where you need to go you may also just want to go and have a nose at the products find out a bit more about them perhaps find some other samples um with the sets and things that I use as well. Um, and you can go and do all that over there, no commitment. Right, let's get rid of that. Let's find out who we've got. You should call it, can you hear me Wednesday? I know, well, <laughs> I, don't, I haven't had that problem before to be fair. Um, can you hear me in stereo Wednesday? 
Um, Katie loves her turtle set. Oh, I know, I know. I'm going to show you some, I'm going to whiz through some things here as well. Um, so it is the first of the month. I should have Card Club up and ready um, for you on the first. I haven't, I know, it's on my list today. It might not even get that on there till tomorrow or very late tonight. Um, but it, you will see the link on the, in the description as well. Uh, once you've seen the so cute um, cards that are part of this month's card club, you may want to come and join. Which game, if you're in the UK, you can come and join with a kit. Um, if you're elsewhere in the world, you can get the global access to the videos and PDFs. Um, so let's I'll give you a quick squeeze of that first. Let's go and do that. Let's, let's change my cameras and... Let's get rid of that for the moment. Where, where are they? I put them somewhere so, 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 so safe. So look, I'm only going to give you a quick squeeze because this is like sneaky peek. Um, but I love these. I love these. So, you ready? Got your eyes open. Click and you'll miss it. How cute is he? How cute is he? How cute is he? How cute is he? It's a he. How cute are they? Oh my God, they're so cute, so cute. And how cute is that? So cute, so cute. Uh, right, that is Card Club. Um, everybody who is in Card Club gets a kit to make all those. You make two of each. Um, oh, gotta love it. So yeah, you're, you can't sign up for that now. Well, you can PM me, I suppose, or message me, or leave a, leave a tag me, or do anything you wanna do. Um, and um, I say, it will be up later tonight stroke tomorrow I, it's, I say it's on my list i really really hope to get it done but my list is this long today as it always is on the first of the month um, but that is card club i did you did see quickly this we have one more month left so we are halfway through now um the celebration the mini catalog is obviously out and runs till december celebration um one month one more month to go and if you're sitting there going what oh, no, is celebration i have no idea what you're talking about um then celebration is threefold um if you purchase 45 pounds worth of stuff so for example if you like this turtle set and you want to get that and you want to get the papers and you want to do this and you want to do that and you've just seen those turtle cards i love i've made that you love um you might get the ribbon and you might get this and you might get that um so if you spend 45 pounds you can pick one of these products so you've got some dazzling six by six paper um, you've got some penguin paper that goes with the penguin bundle in the main catalog oh sorry not the main catalog this catalog in this mini catalog there's a very cute penguin um, stamp set and punch there you go there's there's the punch and the stamp set isn't here well there's a stamp um so that is very cute um, you could have a feels like home, a very nostalgic, classy stamp set. You could have some beautifully penned black and white papers that coordinate with the hand penned. That is from the annual catalogue. Um, this peaceful dear. Now, the bookings have just closed, but we have a class on World Card Making Day, which is October the 2nd. Um, I'm running a class with this peaceful dear set. So that is a punch and stamp bundle. And they'll, uh, the people will get the um, free pattern paper with that as well. Um, but you can still get it at the moment. That's 12 by 12 paper. You've got these super cute die stamp set and oh, die stamp set. Sheep stamp set and die set um, that are just cute, cute, cute. Um, each one, £45. And you can, if you order £90, then you can um, order two as well. But if you do um, sit there and decide, oh, there's that one as well, for 45 so textures and frames. I know people like a bit of background. Um, but if you do spend £90, then you can get this Summer sh Shadows dies, which actually goes with the stamp set in the annual catalogue as well. <laughs> Or this beautiful dahlias, 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 whatever you want to call it, um, stamp set there is also free with a £90 order. And But if you have, really do have an order of £90, then we really should talk about you coming and becoming a demonstrator. No, you don't have to be, um, be you don't have to demonstrate, you don't have to do what I'm doing here. Um, you can just join for the discount. You can share a catalogue with crafty friends and family. Um, and why wouldn't you do that? It's it's all of that. I'm Mrs. Cynical and um, there really is no catch. There really is no catch. Um, so, yes, because that, that you get 130. Well, let's show you. It's, it's along here. You pick £130 of your choice. So anything you want in the catalogue um, for £99. You get free P&P. So that saves you another £4.95. But you also get, there's a list of them here. I should have a nice, pretty graphic, really. Um, but here they are. And I actually went, let's have a look. Can you see that? I oh, know it doesn't. 
focus. Oh, no, we're there. Oh, oh, we're there. We're there. We're there. Don't move. Um, so I put the amounts of the bundles in red down the side because I wanted to see how much they were. So the biggest bundle there is Christmas to remember. It's £55.75 just by my finger there. Um, so you can you pick that for free. So they're all bundles, two, four, six, there's 12 bundles. They're all in the new mini catalogue and you pick one for free. So they range from £29.50, but look, most of them, £49.50, £44, £46.75, £41, £49, £45, £49, £55, £47, um, and another £44 there as well. So, yeah, for £50, £55, £75, pound, please, pens, pounds, pawns, pins, more as well. So uh, 180 quid worth of stuff for £99 delivered. Oh, yes, please. Yes, please. So hello, Carol. So Carol, did you get a sneaky peek then of what you're going to get in Card Club next month? I hope you like it. I have fallen in love with it. Um, <laughs> right. So and the other one is if you don't want to become a demonstrator, and that's absolutely fine. You don't have to. Some people don't want to. Honestly, there's still no catch. Um, but um, if you collect orders or you've got a big order yourself and it goes over £275, then you get this free stamp set anyway as well. So you get all the others as well. So let's say you're placing a big order for yourself. You get one of those sets for 45 or 90 as you go in increments. So if you wanted, let's say you spent, you ordered 450 pounds. Not that people do that very often, but people do occasionally. If you spent 450 pounds, you could pick 10 of the 45 pound items. You could pick five of the 90 pound items, even though there's two different ones. Um, but you'd also get this as well for free. So that's it. That's all I'm going to go on about today. And just only because there's a month more to go. And you come and, come and join our team. Katie's in the team. Carol's in the team. They'll tell you. It's all. No, there's no pressure, is there, ladies? You can do with it as you wish. Um, right. So, what have I got to tell you anything else? Um, I will be updating my blog this afternoon with measurements for this card. So, this, this is. So, let's show you what we're making. So, this seems to be the card of the week, month. I'm not sure what it is. But they're everywhere. They're everywhere. And people are calling them pinwheel tower cards because they kind of stand up like that. Um, and I've seen lots of bigger ones. So kind of six by six ones and things like that. But I wanted to make one that was um, A6 inside. That's that's what size I normally make my cards. Let's, so let's have a look. So when this lays flat, it goes in our envelope. Look, it's the same size as one of our normal cards um, or near as. Um, so it will fit in one of our envelopes. And that's what I wanted. Um, now, it does mean that it's not huge. <laughs> so it's quite diddy. Look, if I put my hands, oh, let's bring it down a bit. If I put my hands there, you can see how big it is. It's about hands, hands width. But normal size, just, just think normal size. Um, but it does seem to be quite cute. And everyone seems to be raving about these. So I thought before we, we get on to the next thing, um, and just because I thought I'd use my cute little turtles um, in another way, I just thought I'd share this with you. Um, plus this pattern paper, I have cheated a little bit because this pattern paper is only available as a hostess set. It's my favourite paper in the world at the moment. Um, now, what does that mean? What, what, what am I talking about, a host set? When you place an order for £150 or more, you should, you should really sign up. But if you do, <laughs> you get what we call stamping rewards, and they start at 10%. So if you place an order for £150, then you can have £15 for free. And it does work as a percentage, not as a, a kind of a up to this amount is X amount etc so 150 pounds you get 15 pounds now this pack of um 12 by 12 pattern paper and it's a block it's a block it's 48 sheets um is 17 pounds so it's spent 150 <laughs> it's spent 150 and you can get this paper for two quid <laughs> But, um, but I do, I love it. I just thought it was cute. It was bright. Um, I probably should have used one of the celebration papers. But you know what? I like this. And I don't use it. I have hardly used it. So I just thought this was cute. This was cute. So I was saying that all these measurements will be on my blog a little bit later this afternoon. I know my mum is popping around. I don't know when. So that will dictate um, how quickly it goes or not. Um, so if she's arriving late, it will get done earlier. If she arrives early, soon after this, then um, it will get done later. It's good your mum working late tonight. Um, so, yeah, so all the measurements will be on that. So I'm not going to tell you. It's more about the whys and wherefores and hows rather than the exact measurements. Um, obviously, if you are in the States um, and you use letter size paper, your measurements will be slightly different. Um, and people are to say are tending to do um, kind of bigger cards, six by six cards and things like that. But 
I just thought this was cute and I like the cute sentiments as well. So what is this set we're talking about? This is it. Look, it is so cute. Tettle friends with a punch with two little eyes bits there as well. Or a nose, you could give, make him a Rudolph nose. Um, but you've got a big um, turtle, you've got two little ones, you've got a bird, you've got a hat, you've got a shell pattern to go in both of those sizes. Nice happy birthday font, happy belated birthday. Sorry, I was slow, clever. Um, you are totally loved. And hello, little one. And also, it's time to celebrate. <laughs> And it's got a bow tie and some heart. I just love them. Love them, love them, love them. Um, and I don't normally do cute. I have to say, I don't normally do cute and colouring, but I've, I have fallen in love with this. That's all I can say. Now, what did I... I've got bits here that I should have... Here's, here's one I prepped earlier. Oh, goodness me. That Right. Let's get rid of my post-it notes. Okay. So let's move all this to one side. So what do we need to get started? So I have prepped some of this beforehand. Oh, look. Oh, cheated there. Look, don't show you. Don't show you. Oh, I didn't stick those on. Right. What have I got here? What have I got here? What was that? Oh, okay. I know why. I know why. I think I know why. Um, oh, I think I'm a bit short. I'm a bit short. Oh, look. This is the thing. You try and be organised. It don't work at all. I need a bit of pattern paper to go on there. I might have to go and find that. Right. This is what I, this is what I prepped ahead of time. That's my scrap paper. I know what that is now. Right, hang up. Bear with, bear with. I think I've put my bit of paper away. I need to get it out. Hold on. Uh, what paper is it? What paper is it? Oh, I reckon. So I tried to do it. Um, I tried to. Do, yeah, yeah, it is that bit. Um, I tried to do. So I've cut some of mine six by six. So just ignore me. Is it that bit there? Look at that. There it is. I put it away. <laughs> right. OK, so what do you need? What do you need? What do you need for this card? Let's just chuck it all away. You need. Now, I did do inches for this, um, but I will translate into centimetres as well on the blog. Um, but this is four and a half inches by our UK measurement of 14.8 centimetres. So, yes, I'm going bilingual um, and I have scored. I hope you can see that. Let's have a look. Can you see that? Oh, there, oh, 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 there, no, I think you can just about see it there, it scored at one inch, two inch, three inch, and four inch, so that's really, that's really easy to remember, isn't it, so one, two, three, four and a half, you could do a quarter if you wanted to, but I haven't, you need four pieces of white card, these are our panels here that stick out, so that's four pieces, you need four pieces of pattern paper to go on those, um, so that's that. You also need four coordinating strips. Now, these are tiny, um, as I say. I quite like this size card. Um, probably if I made it again, I would probably make this bigger. But as soon as you start making these panels sort of twice the size that they are, is that they don't fit in a normal envelope. So they'll start poking right out here and poking right out here. And that's not an issue if you make your own envelopes. Um, or you've got bigger envelopes, or you work out the measurements to be that it fits in a six by six um, envelope that you've already got, or a four by four, or anything you want, um, then you can do that. But I say, I wanted this one to stick in the normal size envelopes. That's why I've done these. But I say, if you want bigger panels, knock yourself out. Just bear in mind that you'll need bigger envelopes. So in this case, I've got four coordinating strips of pattern paper. They're the bits that are going to go down the side here. Now, I am Mrs. Coordinated, so I have to have the right pattern paper next to each other, but you may choose to mix it up a little bit. That's up to you. <laughs> so four of those. I've got a scrap bit of paper to do my stamping, which is my sentiment there. It's my little um, snail, <laughs> turtle. I mean, to, to us, he's a tortoise. Um, turtle in America, tortoise if you're over here. Little birds there. And again, the little tortoise turtle there. So that's my, my scrap bit there. So let's get started, shall we? So I've got my piece of card to say four and a half by 14.8, which is pretty much six inches if you're in the States. And I get my bone folder out. And I'm just going to burnish those folds just to make them really nice, firm, 
if I was to use my fingernail, I might get my nail varnish all over it. Yes, I've done that before. <laughs> and there we go. So that's it. And you can already see, look, we're coming together for our central pit. Now, this is just basic white thick card. Um, so that's what I've used. So you could use tape along here. I'm going to use my ever faithful um, Tombow multi-purpose adhesive, whatever you want to call it. And I just tuck that in and put glue there. And you have, it's not too fiddly because you just fold that over. You fold that over, make sure that's down. There we go. And just do that. I just hold it in place for a little bit because it pretty much sticks. Stricks, it sticks straight away. But uh, there we go. And that's that is our main bit. But as you can see, it will fold flat and in any direction. So that is good. So we get our pattern paper, which I say dimensions will be on the um, blog later. Um, it's nice. It's black and white one side as well. So it's really colorful and rainbow on one side and really black and white on the other, which obviously you can leave black and white or you can color. So I put those leaves an even border all the way around. So those four pieces of pattern paper, ta-da, is <laughs> what I did earlier, end up like that. So there we go. One, two, three, four. That's genius, isn't it? Right. So then now what I want to do is, I've got to remember what I'm doing. I only made this the other day, um, is I'm going to put glue, again, wet glue, just all over the edge of that. I'm going to take my first panel. I'm going to lay this flat. And I want to just put the edge up against the crease. So, again, I've got a little bit of wiggle room. If you were using um, tape, you wouldn't have any wiggle room. That's whether you know. It's up to you whether you're used to that or not. But that'll do. And then you can see that it pokes out the side there. So that's number one done. So we just turn it over. We put glue. All over that again, tape if you want to. And again, I'm just going to put that one up against that fold there. And just make sure you've got clean fingers. If you've got inky fingers, you might put ink on there. And then I'm going to wrap it over again. See how easy this is. So clever, so easy. And then we'll go fans up. So again, I'm going up against that piece there. Be sure I've got that right. And you can see I'm seeing the back of that. And you know what's going there. So that's there. And the final one. Glue all over here. See how quick is this? A fun fact, all tortoises are turtles, but not all turtles are tortoises. All part of turtle family, but tortoises don't go in the water. That's right. Well, I know they don't go in the water, but I didn't know that all tortoises were turtles. Well, so we, we're good. We are good then. And yes, we do do card swaps in the team as well. We do all sorts of things in our, in our team. Um, our lovely team. Lovely, lovely. There we go. Okay, so look at that. We have pinwheel already. And we have four panels covered. So now what we're going to do is we are just going to put, oh, I should probably put the glue on the paper. Let's do that first. One, two, three. Yeah, I can see glue going everywhere on this. Can you? Right, so a bit of glue on the back of there. I could put it on here, but obviously there is a border, so I don't want to have glue um, on the card and on a bit that isn't covered by paper. So that is better. Now, I don't know what's on the back of it, so I'm going to do <laughs> that one first is my stripe. So I find my stripe. Oh, look. Hold on. Let's move those out of the way. Ooh. And so I just want to, again, make sure I've got an even border. Oh, look, it even looks like it continues. The blue next to the blue. There we go. What's next? That's our hearts. So that's that way. Again. You can match the pattern up by obviously picking it out of the same piece of paper because, look, the reds they all line up lovely. Or you don't have to. It's up to you. <laughs> this piece here. Oh, look, I've even got that to line up. Come on, better than I thought. Wasn't intentional. <laughs> I'm off a bit. I'm a bit skew with there. Right, which what have I got left? This one here. 
So this. So can you see how quick and easy these are? They're not complicated at all. Because look, we now have pinwall card all decorated already. Now, obviously, I know I pre-cut the bits beforehand, but that's it. It's, like, it's almost like a never-ending card as well. Now, you could keep one of these panels completely um, paper-free, and then you'd have space to write your sentiment. So if this bit wasn't here, you'd have all of this bit here to write your sentiment if you wanted to. So that's up to you. Um, I've chosen not to do that just because I'm showing you how to do it. But I thought by telling you, um, you could leave one <laughs> blank if you wanted to send a sentiment as well. Um, but I like this one. So we're going to go as we are. So we have my stamp set. Um, and what do we have? I know I used both of those and I used the Hello Little One. That's Forever Friends. Hello Little One and the Bird. That's what I used. So all little ditty stamps today. So I'm not using the punch. The punch just cuts out the, um, the big turtle, tortoise, turtle, whatever. So I'm just going to put these on acrylic blocks each. I, put, I have a few acrylic blocks because I ran, well, I did run classes in person. We are talking about going back to it, believe it or not. But last time I asked if we should go back to card classes with the ladies that came and we all said yes. Um, Boris put us into lockdown. So <laughs> I'm a little bit like, oh, please don't do that again. Okay, so I've got my Memento Black ink. That's what I'm going to use because I'm going to be colouring these um, with just Granny Apple Green blends blends are alcohol based the ink is um suspended in alcohol so let's do now i want to get a space where i can cut them out so i don't want them really close to each other now if you like a really black solid image or you are not um happy with the way you stamp then you might want to look at getting a stamping platform i'm taking my chances this time today not doing too bad actually so you can see i'm using quite a lot of the area but that's because i want to get I'm obviously going to circle cut around them now i have put in the um the description that the circle layering dies <coughs> i'm sorry um because uh, because uh, yes because we've stopped selling our circle punches at the moment but I will be completely honest with you and say that I use my one and a quarter inch circle punch I still use mine I still have them but if you don't have any circle punches or anything like that then the layering circle dies are the ones for you they do exactly the same job um, but I have done so I've just punched those out one they will be coming back at some stage the punches but people weren't buying them. I think it's because we've all got them. So as long as you've got two layering circles, however you do that, whether it's layering dies, whether it is punches, whether you sit and draw around things, if you haven't got either of those, you find a bottom of a small bottle or something to draw around. Right, now I don't need that one. I don't need to colour that. I don't need to colour the bird either because he's just black as he is. And so I'm just going to use my um, the dark ones because that's nice and bright. It goes with the, the green that's in all this paper, the granny apple green. And I'm using the thin end and I'm just colouring. I'm not doing any shading or trying to be fancy or anything. I'm just literally giving a bit, him a bit of colour. Now, I could have stamped the shell in the background as well if I wanted to on his um, on his shell. That's shell pattern. Um, but I didn't. Don't want to. I'm keeping this simple. <laughs> so two ends. You've got a brush. Hang on. A brush nib, oh, that's a bit knackered, um, and a bullet end. I'm using the bullet end because I've got a smaller area. Um, and I tend to, I'm, I'm certainly no expert colourer, um, but I go round the, round the outside first. Now, the thing with these blends are, as I say, the dye ink is suspended in alcohol. So that firstly means that it will dry really quickly. It also means that it smells really nice. <laughs> you can't get too high on it um but it also doesn't show so if you're finding that when you're coloring with your water-based markers you're getting streaky lines when you do something like that um or you go over it which is what we all used to do because that's all there was um then you'll find with these i can go over these and i'm not getting any lines as it dries you'll see that it's just perfect 
perfect so that is the i say we've called ours blends but that is the idea they blend together really well so again if i was doing shading and things like that then but on such a small area you don't want to do that you don't want to do that but it look makes me look like i'm a really good colorer because i haven't got all the lines showing which is what we want isn't it and obviously you can do all sorts of things with blends or alcohol markers as such as they're called right, i need to make sure i don't go over his eye do, do, do. we could have a bright blue eyed oh he looks like a bit like a skunk like that there that's it that's all we're doing as i say this isn't a coloring class today <laughs> so can you see look you can't see any kind of lines or anything on my coloring so it makes me look like an expert not that i am at all but there we go so each one of these i've gone flat because um as you see when you go to post this if you have all four on dimensionals this is going to be a bit a little bit like that and you might struggle to get it in the envelope so these are all flat perhaps you might be able to put a dimension on the back of one like the sentiment or something maybe um or again you know pattern paper for sentiment so let's say this is the sentiment if i've used a less patterny paper we could write on that as well. So again, instead of leaving one blank, you could also go for a slightly lighter, more pastel paper. But if I've gone for something like this, um, I think that's Blushing Bride there or Flirty Flamingo, um, you'd have been able to write on that. So you could go plain card as well or coordinating card as such. Um, but these are all just flat. So all just a bit of Tombow on the back. I pre-cut my circles. So they were just punched out with the punch that was slightly larger, but again, you would use whatever you have. There we go. Oop. <laughs> the concentration of me sticking. You can see we're almost done already. How quick is this? There we go. And my um my edges and my punches are a bit fluffy, but if you get um like an emery board, hold on. So if it's a bit fluffy, it needs sharpening really. Uh, my punch, which you can sharpen with um, by punching through tin foil. If you punch through some tin foil, that sharpens your blades in your um, punches, by the way. Um, but if you've got a bit of fluff, then just get in an emery board, nail file, whatever you want to call it. And going around it will get rid of any fluff. Because, yeah, that's bad, man. That's, that's overused. Sometimes if you use a circle punch so much, like if you're doing invites or something like that for a wedding, you may need to replace it. But try sharpening it first. Right, so one, two, three, four, more glue. As I say, no dimensionals at the moment. Just a squiggle. And, again, because it gives me that little bit of wiggle room to start with and okay right so i might go do i go i might go a little bit higher this time rather than central like a bit higher and i tended to do the, the turtles tortoises opposite each other so it kind of went bird turtle sentiment turtle oh i'm up here aren't i oh now i need to remember where i am <laughs> about there we could go up the top and bottom, top and bottom. So then sentiment. So I'm just using that as a guide to be roughly in the same place. Okay. But again, if you did them, if you staggered them, so you could do one, two, three, four as you turn it round. That would have been good as well. Why didn't I think of that? Because now what I've done is I've made it all a little bit more bulky in one place. Whereas actually, if you'd if you'd alternated or done one, two, three, four in a like a waterfall then you wouldn't have that extra big bit there like I've got. But that's it. Look at that. And obviously, you could have put ribbon down here, and you can embellish this as much as you want. But I kind of went quite – I like the paper, so I kind of went quite straightforward there. But there we are. So Angela's been having problems with the internet, so maybe not on for long. We are almost there, Angela. We are kind of done. This is what we've made. We've made the ever-popular – pinwheel tower cards as they're being called 
<laughs> but hopefully that has helped as i say the, the dimensions for getting it as an a6 card so it fits in one of our normal size envelopes will all be on the blog a little bit later um but otherwise i'm kind of done unless anyone's got any questions um as i say if you're in my facebook group um uh, what's it called card making for beginners and beyond um then i will share the post in there um i'm obviously live in there at the moment as well anyway um but i say it's on my blog so i will share on socials this afternoon the link back to the blog post when i've done it so keep an eye out for that and you'll get the dimensions but as i say these can be as wide as you like just bear in mind that obviously if you've got a one inch here um then you're gonna it just depends on how to say how far out you go and as to how big these are but that's i did that for an a6 envelope which is a european and south pacific measurement rather than a north american um measurement right i think that's it unless anyone's got any questions missed anything or, or wants to know anything um because i know there's a bit of a delay so i will stay on i'm glad we finally got the um sound working <laughs> But as I say, all the pro all the products that I've used, the paper, the punches, oh, I haven't put my rhinestones on. Um, everything is on a list in the description as well. So if you want to go and have a nose, how much is that? What does it do? Is there other samples with the turtles? Go and have a nose at those links. You're not committing to buy it by just clicking on the link. Um, and you can do it there. So you can buy from me if you are UK, France, Germany, Netherlands, or Austria. <laughs> Is it that in a different order? So I forgot. Um, you can go and purchase there. And as I say, don't forget the celebration is on. So if you're spending £45 or more, you get that free product as well. Right. If there are no questions, I'm going to love and leave you. I will see you again back here next Wednesday. Uh, next Wednesday. Oh, next week's very exciting. Uh, one thing I haven't said is that I am launching a card making course next week. It's the ultimate card making course so full details are going out on monday but if you want to join the wait list to get the information first um, you're not committing to anything it's just a list so that you get the email when it's all launched and you can go and find out more about it you'll see the link in the description for that as well to join the wait list for the info on the ultimate card making course <laughs> right thanks for joining me have a lovely week and i will see you again next week bye